Hey everyone, GW Smallwood here, The Shaving Disciple, and I've got another mail call for you guys. So I got a couple of packages today. The first one is from Crown and Crane, and the second one, you guys probably ought to recognize that label by now. So let's start with the Crown and Crane. Uh, unboxing knife, again, just my standard antique fishing knife. So it came packaged well. Pretty much the entire box lined with bubbler, so that's good. Package is protected. So I've been hearing a lot about Crown and Crane. I know there's quite a few people who have used them. I've never tried any of their soaps. And I saw on the Razor Company's website that they have a Green Irish Tweed dupe. So if you guys don't know, I love Green Irish Tweeds and I've tried nearly every Green Irish Tweed shaving soap that is currently available. Um, I have not tried this one yet, so I had to pick it up. So I got some samples and I got a few samples of some other stuff as well. And these samples are well packaged, so they're in a nice plastic wrapper. And then typical kind of paper soap wrapper. Uh, so there's a full full ingredient label on the sample, which is nice. Uh, you don't usually see that with samples. It's kind of a nice touch. Hmm, That is a nice green Irish tweed like scent. It's very, very soft, green, almost kind of laundry soapish. But it definitely has the green Irish tweed vibe to it. So looking forward to trying that one out. So I also got their tobacco caramel. To me, the scent profile sounded a little bit like Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Malbolge or um, Cooper and French's Fair Isle Harbor, which I really like both of those. Hmm, that is not the same as those, but this is a really nice scent. Hmm, you definitely get the tobacco. Um, it's not overly sweet, so this this is a nice one. I like this. The next one I got is Smoky Briar. Based on the scent notes of this one, I assumed it might be a little bit like uh, PAA's Cavendish. So let's see if I'm right about that. No, this is not quite a Cavendish. It definitely has a bit of that pipe tobacco, um, but it's not as strong. The, the, the tobacco scent I don't think is as strong in this as it is in something like Cavendish. So this one's nice as well. And then she also threw in a sample of Thuringian Forest. I'm guessing that's how you say that, Thuringian. Uh, so this one I did not buy. She threw this one in there. She said she likes to throw an extra sample in with every order. Um, and she actually made it a point to say if there's a particular soap that you're interested in, uh, when you place an order, let her know and she'll try to include that as your sample. So that's that's really cool, really thoughtful. Not sure about this one. So I, I in general, don't, uh, don't typically like piney or overly um, like foresty scents. This one is better than most. This one might actually be okay lathered up. I'm going to have to lather this one and see. Um, there's still kind of that hint of the pine needle or the kind of fur needle underneath of it. Uh, but it's it's really faint in this one, so I might, I might like this one. So those are my samples of Crown and Crane. Now to the main event. So if you guys have never gotten anything from PAA before, I just want to show you. Their packing is always so efficient. They are some of the most efficient packing people in the business. So everything is always packaged very well. I've never had an issue with anything breaking or leaking, uh, but everything is, they definitely utilize every bit of space in their boxes. So the first thing I got is Gondolier Star Jelly. I really, really like their Star Jelly and um, I love that Douglas finally started offering a selection of them in menthol free. So this is one of my favorite PAA scents. So I grabbed this in the menthol free star jelly. So that other one's another star jelly, but I'm going to hang on to that because I don't want to give it away quite yet. 
So I also picked up a 26 millimeter Nexus knot. So if you guys saw my last unboxing, no, two unboxings ago, um, I got some AP Shaveco knots for some brushes and I got a 26 millimeter fan, uh, cashmere fan, and I wanted to compare that against the Nexus. So I got the 26 millimeter Nexus knot. Feels really, really good. It feels very similar. So I'll uh, have to check those out side by side. And I got a whole bunch of samples. And the one I was looking forward to the most is right up front there. So this is a sample of Droid, which is Douglas's attempt to bring back Floyd Black. Ooh. That smells nice. You definitely get the vanilla. Ooh, but it's toned down. Um, citrus, fruity, floral, patchouli, caramel, woody, vanilla. That's good. That might be a purchase when that one finally gets released. So the droid's not out yet, um, but Douglas is hinting it will be soon. So I picked up the samples for a bunch of the seasonals recently. So this one is Honeysuckle, which I've smelled some Honeysuckle soaps before that I wasn't crazy about, so I wanted to give this one its fair chance. You know, I was making fun of somebody on a forum the other day for flinging their sample across the room trying to get the cap off, and now I'm struggling. Oh, that's nice. That is not anything like what I expected it to be. I'm not real sure how to describe it. It's definitely got a floral quality to it, but I like that one. This one should be interesting. Aloha Smackdown. So that smells exactly like it, what it's supposed to. It smells just like Hawaiian Punch, which is really, really cool. But I'm not sure I would want this all over my face and head to shave with. I'll try it. I'll use the aftershave, but that's one I might pass on. Just It's a little too sweet for me, I think. But it does smell exactly like Hawaiian Punch. Next one is Rabid Banana. Uh, this is one I suspect my wife might want to pick up. That, to me, it smells like a banana... Um, what are the ta Laffy Taffies? It smells like a banana laff Laffy Taffy. So that, that one's fun. I might, might look into getting that one. And then the last seasonal I picked up was Immortal Peach. Trying to, trying to see if I want to pull the trigger on any of these before they go away. Hmm, that is a nice peach scent. I feel like there's something else in the background. It's not a pure peach, at least what I'm smelling right now. But it, you definitely get the peach. So that's, that's a really nice scent. So I like the peach and the banana. Not so sure about the Holo Aloha Smackdown. All right, so save the best for last. So if you guys hadn't seen yet, Douglas just released a new soap. So I actually must have been in fast enough to get the holographic label here. So this is Tribute, which is a soap that started as not a tribute uh, David Gonzalez, uh, So Sharp David, asked Douglas to make this scent profile for him, and he did in a small batch, and then Douglas decided to do a wider release and make it an actual tribute to David. So let's check this one out. That's a nice scent. It's, it's very... It is very simple. It is two scent notes. It is sandalwood, and this is an earthy sandalwood combined with a little bit of cherry. It is not over the top like a cella or um, what's the other one? Uh, Sterling's black cherry. Uh, but this is, you definitely get the cherry. I think my wife might actually like that one too. We'll have to see. So I got that in the CK6 soap. I got the splash and I picked up the non-mentholated star jelly. 
So this is, like I said, fairly new. Uh, it's been out for about a week now probably. So check this out. If you like sandalwood and you like cherry, you'll like this. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed that short unboxing and I'll see you in the next video.